Hey there, brothers and sisters, Nun Superior here. So you just started playing Heroes and Generals and you're running around with your little pew pew rifle and it's nothing but tanks and you're getting beat to hell and you're getting frustrated and you don't know what to do. Well, let me give you some advice and let me show you about Panzer Shreks and Bazookas. Here we go. So Panzer Shreks and Bazookas are the main infantry anti-tank portable tube-like weapon that you can unlock. Uh, this is not to be confused with the Panzer Faust, which is what you find in crates uh, near some spawn points. Uh, it, it's a very similar weapon, but this one you can equip at the start when you spawn, and you don't have to go rummaging around looking for one. So let's take a look at the Panzer Shrek here. As far as I know, the Bazooka has the same stats and is unlocked in the same manner. So the Panzer Shrek here will unlock with Explosives Ribbon 1 when you get that unlocked. The explosives ribbon, you get points to unlock that by getting grenade or mine explosive damage. You also get points by just using hand grenades, so even if you don't hurt anybody with them, you can actually get points. The Panzer Shrek costs 85,200 credits or 859 gold. Uh, the Bazooka has the same price. The rate of fire on it is 14 rounds per minute. It's got a pretty long reload time. You get four rounds normally. You can take uh, an extra three rounds, but that will cost you an extra equipment point slot. The equipment points normally are five. When you take the extra three rounds, it goes up to six. Five is important because five is the same number as the regular rifles and the bolt action rifles. So you can take a regular rifle and a Panzer Shrek or Bazooka at the same time. If you take the extra rounds, however, you can't do that. You run out of slots. So you're gonna to have to take something like uh, a pistol maybe, or a shovel, I don't know. But I, I, I don't know if I'd go so far as to take the full seven rounds. The ammo cost in it is free. Um, you don't have to pay for your shots, which is very nice. The weapon has a 100% chance of penetrating armor of 75 millimeters and smaller. Uh, for anything 120 millimeters and larger, there's a 0% chance it's just going to bounce. And of course, between 75 and 120 millimeters, it's going to drop off from 100 down to 0. The max range in this weapon is about 150 meters. I couldn't find anything official on the range of it, but anything about to uh, 150 meters, the round would just nose into the ground and I couldn't get it out past that far. There are no modifications for this weapon, so you can't take extra damage or extra range or anything like that. It's, it's kind of a, a one buy and this is what you get. You buy the weapon, you get uh, free ammo, uh, no modifications, and that's that. The first thing you need to know about this weapon is how to set the range. What you do is you hold down right mouse to zoom in, hover over your target, and press the space. That will set the approximate range in 50, 100, or 150 meter increments. The maximum range on this weapon is about 150 meters. After that, the rocket will just nose into the ground and never quite get beyond that range. As you notice here, the target I'm shooting at is beyond that 150 meter range and I just can't get to it. I'd say this weapon is most effective at about 75 meters or less. Even at the 100 meter range, the arc on this shot makes it pretty difficult to consistently hit a target. You really need to get close with this weapon if you're going to be effective with it. Shooting a long range with this weapon, you only get four shots, um, so you don't have many opportunities to miss. It does have a very fire, high firing arc, and the minimum range is 50 meters, so if you're shooting at something that's closer than 50 meters, you might shoot over it. You've got to adjust for that manually by aiming lower at the vehicle or above it if it's even farther range away. Let's take a look at some tactics. When you choose this weapon, I like to think of you as a tank sniper. You want to stay away from the front area of the tanks and stay out of their line of fire. You have no defense against them, so they will chew you up in seconds. What you need to do is flank. Flank and stay to the rear. Use vehicles, use bicycles, use whatever you can to stay away from that front firing arc of the tank. It's going to take two shots to destroy a light tank that is, have not been hit yet. So your first shot is going to leave you very exposed. They can see your rocket trail and they know where you are. So you're going to need to maneuver every time you take a shot if you're going to stay alive. Buildings are your friend because they actually provide you some defense against these tanks. Use the element of surprise to your advantage. Take the extra time to get around behind them. Surprise is your best friend and your best ally.
If you can sneak around and take your time and get behind tanks, you will be a very valuable asset to your team. Be aware that tanks will creep up on your spawn points and you will spawn and need to take them out. That is your primary role in this situation because you spawn with the Panzer Shrek or Bazooka. That's very important and much better than having to search around for a Panzerfaust which may or may not be spawning in that spawn area. Do be aware that you are also the primary target of the tanks that are spawning or that are camping that spawn. They will want to take you down big time. Be patient. I think patience is a, another primary uh, need for this game in general, but especially for this weapon. You're going to take two shots to take down tanks, which means you're going to have to take your time and be patient and hide. One sort of advanced uh, tip I can give you is because this, hang this weapon has a high arc, you can use that to your advantage and actually shoot over <laughs> allied vehicles. Uh, it's pretty dangerous, but if you practice a bit, you can do it reliably. Don't forget, tanks have limited vision, and sometimes they will run right by you and not realize that you have an anti-tank weapon in your arsenal. And you can give them a nice little surprise. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did, and leave some comments if I screwed anything up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. This is Nuncy Pierce saying, until next time, I will see you.